All right. I've already re I'm recording, so whenever you're ready. I've just started. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. I'm CM1, and I'm here joined here with Mr. Fike2903. Say hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Now, today, we are playing the Ogineering mod pack. Uh, which I've had difficulties with on my end because of memory allocation. Um, anyways, it's fixed. Um, so, today we are going over on how to automate chipset manufacturing. Now, I've read all over the forums and people say that this is impossible. But knowing me and, well, us, um, nothing is impossible if you put your mind to it. Now, it did. I've actually discovered this some time ago, even bef when I was playing Ticket Light, which is way before Urgeneering was born. So, let's get started. Now, the necessary tools we need is already laid out. We've got a solar panel, well, a hybrid solar panel, fully charged, um, next to a Mii controller, with the applied energistics crafting, well, Mii terminal, along with the drives, and most important piece of kit, the pattern encoder. Now, we're running Ogenary 1.1.1 because um, I've released an update for Optifine. So we're now running Optifine. Excellent. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to set up some build craft power. We need build craft power to um, power the lasers. So we need to construct that. So I'm just going to get some solar panels. Um, I took a big rig. Uh, what else? Uh, power converters. I need that. That. You can't talk as well, you know. Hmm? You can't talk as well, you know. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Fiber. Now I'm just gonna place this down. You can help out place some of these hybrid ultimate solar panels down. And you're in a couple of spots. That's there we go. <laughs> Let's place these down. Place them, we can clear our inventory from them, then I can start the conversion. Now, folks, we all know that uh, lasers require build craft power to use, and the assembly table itself does not, because it doesn't need any power, which is where the lasers come in, because it's the lasers that do the work. The assembly table just holds it, pretty much. Okay, now I'm just going to set up the bridge. There we go. Now just clear this out and get some... Redstone con. Oh. There it is. <laughs> oh, and I need a spanner. Well, a wrench. Oh, to my favorite mod, Omni Tools. Just gonna place that down. And make it point to the way. There we go. I'm getting lag spikes. You know, <laughs> you're getting lag spikes. Yeah. Uh, check your allocated memory. 64%. Uh, it's probably because we're building this. Um, I'm just gonna set up this rig of conduits for the lasers. Well, see, I've never done this before, so this is kind of new to me also. Ah, <clears throat> uh, okay. Don't worry, this'll be easy. Yeah, once I leave... Hey. <laughs> Just gonna place lasers down. Oh, that's what those are. So they're connected. We've all got power. Now I need to. Now we need this nice little goofy gadget, the me interface. Yeah. yeah. This thing is what we we need to start the um, automating process of the chipset making. Nice. Okay. Place it down. I'm gonna hook it up to the network uh, without destroying it. Are you using blue table? Yep, I, li I like blue. I don't know why, but I've been using black. 
Now, the me should be connected, which it is. Um, and I'm going to place this assembly table on top. And that's pretty much the rig set up. But not fully yet. Now, this, if you're going to make it automated, it's best to leave it to create one chipset only. Which means you're going to need a maximum of five rigs. For this rig, we'll just have it design, let's say, diamond chipsets. That's all we're going to do. Make it create diamond chipsets. Okay? So, let's go to the computer. Oh, it's changed color. It was purple. I noticed. I've seen that. Maybe it's um, related to the day. Um, I'm going to put that. Now, in here... Gonna place that redstone there and okay, done there. Something. So we're ready. Uh, how are we getting all these materials in here like that? Um, I've spawned them in because it's just easier. Oh, okay. Cause I thought I saw stuff now, going up. Now, if you look into the assembly table, mm -hmm. of course we've got the stuff to create a diamond chipset, but it's not selected. So we're gonna go ahead and select it. Now, of course, it's gonna start crafting it. No, we just simply leave it to do its chores. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's... We're just going to pause the video, and we are going to wait until the chipset's complete. Started? Yeah. yeah. It's recording now. Huh? Okay, folks, we are now back, and it looks like this chipset's nearly complete. Almost there, and... There. Now the chipset's complete. Now of course it's gone. It means it's gone into the computer. And there it is. Now I'm just going to take that out. I'm going to place it in the encoder. There we go. Encode this. Put the chipset back in. Now if we, if we look on... If you're watching my video you'll see that the pattern encoder it has is crafting one redstone diamond chipset with one redstone and one diamond. Now if I put it into the me interface, uh, Fight will be able to see it too. So right click on the me interface and you should see the diamond chipset in there. Yeah, I see it. Now, if we head back to the computer, I'm going to take this redstone chipset out. And we'll see that we've got actually a function for craft. We can actually craft this. So I'm going to go ahead and click craft. I won't craft uh, anymore. One. Begin. And there it goes. It's crafting. So. Hmm. Oh. Neat. I it's automatic. Yeah. It's I set, done. I set it to craft also. So it's got two in there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Anyways, that's all, folks, and that is, well, that's it, folks, and that's how you create an automatic chipset making thing, except that you'll just need a maximum of five of these rigs, and make sure they're separated by five spaces, uh, because I had to do it through trial and error, and it really doesn't like it, because there's laser conflicts, because they don't know which one to go for. Also, you can, the best thing about the these automated rigs is that, you don't have to keep crafting uh, the discs or whatever it is for the me drives manually. Uh, but I don't know if the me drives uses um, electronic, well, the chipsets anymore. I think they've changed the recipes. Yeah, they probably have. Hmm. Anyways, that's it, folks, from me and uh, Fike. I hope you found this video useful. Oh, and this rig will work on any chipset, by the way. But you make sure they're set to one specific, which is why I said have a maximum of five rigs. Usually it's recommended for four. Because, you know, there's four chips that's out common. And we're about to Anyways. make power. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Say goodbye. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.